Hi YouTube, this video is showing how I made a designed swag curtain. Few days earlier, I have seen a similar design on Pinterest and here I am trying to recreate it. We need a wider and longer fabric, thread, needle, scissors, a curtain pole and lot of patience. If you have patience, the result will be amazingly beautiful and the one and only technique I used is patience. I am using a flat sheet which is 2.5 meter long and 2 meter wide. It is the best way to get the flat sheet because it is wider and longer and cheaper than getting a curtain fabric which is always expensive. I am not using a pattern but simple adjustments. We need a curtain pole adjusted according to your comfort and better use the same one where your curtain has to be. Take the first split starting from middle. Adjust the fabric in the fold so it forms a neat arc towards the center of the material. Pin the pleat in position then repeat the other side. Stand back and see how the folds look. You will need to adjust some of them unless otherwise you are very lucky. The usual adjustment is to pull a fold slightly outwards. If the pleat falls too high or move it in slightly if the pleat is too tall. When you are happy with the shape, find the center It was really a challenge for me because I have never tried to make a swag curtain before and if you have never made it before you will get a great sense of satisfaction when you complete it. I made 10 plates in half an hour and practice is the key. Once you have done and happy with your plates, start making shells by joining two folds together and I used a small bead to cover the visible thread and this design is otherwise known as the honeycomb design.
Once you have finished making the design, you can see some plates are misplaced. So adjust it by pull the fold slightly upward and use the pin to hold it in place.